juniors be like dude i love coding and i'll be spending my next 25 years as a programmer but i'll not spend 15 minutes to learn vs code shortcuts that will make me productive hey don't be that guy listen to me for the next five minutes and you will let go with your mouse and feel like a 10x engineer for the rest of your life at first you might think i am happy with my mouse and don't need any shortcuts but once you learn these your life will change forever well that sounds too serious but that's really the case and i want to prove that to you so let's open up a vs code and go through the list one by one the very first thing you would need is to open up a terminal to start your project and instead of going all the way up clicking to the terminal in new terminal simply just press ctrl j and you can toggle it as well then let's say your terminal got a bit messy you can clean it with ctrl l when you decide to rename a variable you'll want to update all occurrences you can either update all of them one by one which is kind of boring or you can select the first one and press ctrl d until all selected and with this now you have a multi cursor and it feels like magic and there is even a grandfather of ctrl d which is ctrl shift l which selects all occurrences at once selecting a line with mouse feels terrible and slow instead you can press ctrl l to select the current line and here is a bonus tip once you select a line you can press shift down to keep selecting downwards or shift up to keep selecting selecting upwards you can go to the end of the line by pressing end key and you can go to the start of the line with home key but if you don't have the end or home keys on your keyboard you can press fn right and fn left and as you can imagine fn up and fn down will take you to the start of the file and the end of the file and sometimes you'll need to move a line upwards or downwards press alt and up key to move upwards and alt and down to downwards but wait how how do you duplicate the current line down um i guess with alt shift and down and to duplicate upwards alt shift and up and when it comes to deleting with only backspace you can delete a letter at a time but if you press ctrl and backspace you will delete word by word and if you want to delete from the right then you can use the delete key but again it'll delete a letter at a time so you can press ctrl and delete to delete word by word and when you want to delete a line completely you can select it with ctrl l and press backspace or simply just press ctrl shift and k and it'll delete the current line you can insert a cursor below the next line by pressing ctrl alt and down and you can insert a cursor to the previous line by pressing ctrl alt and up and as an alternative you can use alt and click and insert as much cursor as you want in a large project it can take a long time to find a file from the sidebar so instead you can press ctrl p and search for a file and in a large file it can be hard to navigate so you can press ctrl f and search for anything when you want to save a file you can use ctrl s and if you want to save all files at once then you press ctrl k and s and you might want to close a file so go ahead with ctrl and w or you can press ctrl k and w to close all of them at once but how do you reopen the last closed file um i guess by pressing ctrl shift and t which works like a stack the last in first out we learned that if we press ctrl p we will see the command palette and if we press ctrl shift p it'll put a right angle bracket into it which allows us to do almost anything that we can imagine let's say in this file you want to fold all the functions you can simply type it and execute it and you can unfold them as well another really useful command is to reload the window sometimes vs code doesn't give you auto completes for some reason and to fix it you would reload the window from the command palette and then the auto completes should work now and when it comes to the sidebar shortcuts you can toggle it with ctrl b and you can open up the extensions tab with ctrl shift and x file explorer tab with ctrl shift and e and source control tab with ctrl shift and g and when you are working with markdown files you can preview them directly in vs code by pressing ctrl shift and v and if you want to preview them on the side then you can press ctrl k and v which wraps up the vs code shortcuts and if you have made it up until here then congratulations and now to even make you faster i'll share some browser shortcuts as a programmer the very first thing you would do is to open up the dev tools 
notes which can be done by Control shift and j to open up a new tab use Control t and to close the current tab use Control w just like vs code you can reopen the last close tab with Control shift and t with Control tab you can go to the next tab and with Control shift tab you can go to the previous one alt left will help you go back in time and alt right will help you go forward in time use Control n for a fresh window and Control shift n for an incognito window Control l will select the url Control d will bookmark the current page Control h will take you to the history and Control j will show you the downloads if you want to reload the page you can do Control r but if you want to reload without using the cache then you can use Control shift r and the very last shortcut is to toggle the bookmark tab with Control b so that's gonna be the ultimate shortcuts that you need as a programmer give it a try for the next two weeks and let me know if you feel any better i'm sure you do and if you want to see more content like this give me a sub and thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one